Hey guys, what's up? Um, I don't know if you guys have ever, I mean, everyone's heard this already. It's about aliens and people believe that aliens are around us and aliens have visited us and aliens are like, you know, are UFOs that like appear in the sky and you always see like these pictures of these little dots in the sky and they're like, no, they're aliens. And they're like, you know, do you think that those dots are aliens? Like they look like just dots in the sky that could be really anything. And then people are like, no, it's an alien from another planet. The thing is, like, if aliens are here, then they're super, super advanced. And for one thing, they're way more advanced than we are. So, you know, like, even if they do want to come down and, and, and talk to us or whatever, you know, it's, it's like, why would they still be flying? Flying is like a current technology of the present time, of a present age. You know, and, and, and that's like flying, like, oh, we know how to fly. Like, wouldn't they be at the next level already? Like, wouldn't they be beyond flying? Like, we get around by flying, but aliens are probably thousands or maybe even millions of years more advanced than we are. It could be thousands of years and still be able to fly around the galaxy to other, like, planets and visit other planets and stuff. But thing is, like, you know, if they if they wanted to be found, of you know, if they if they wanted to be found, they'd be found, right? And if they didn't want to be found, they like wouldn't be found. Like why would, you know, they, you wouldn't even see lights in the sky. Like the only reason you can see the light and it, it say it's an alien is because, you know, the, the lights are on. And if an alien did not want to be seen, wouldn't they just turn their lights off? You know, that way they're not going to be. And why do they need to keep lights on anyway? It's not like they needed to see like headlights on a car. You know, they don't need those lights to see. So that's the thing about UFOs with lights. It's like, why would they even have lights? You know, why couldn't they have other sensors besides like headlights, the kind of headlights you put on the airplane or like in a car or something like that. So that doesn't make any sense that like, unless they just, I don't know. I mean, why would they want to do, if they wanted to be seen, they would just like land and be seen, right? They didn't want to be seen, which is what I'm guessing. Like, that's why we haven't seen any because they don't want to be seen. You know, why would they leave their lights on, on their spaceships, on their UFOs in the sky? You know, they don't need lights to see around, especially like a lot of the, the, the UFOs that they took, the lights are like during the daytime. And why would UFOs even have lights? Like, wouldn't they have like sensors that could pick up, you know, where everything was so they don't, cr so they don't bump into anything? And that's the only reason lights are there, so you don't bump into something. I mean it's like that they really wouldn't need lights. They'd be on the next level and they probably wouldn't even have lights. So that's one thing that makes me think they're not really UFOs from another planet because why would they have lights? Why would a UFO have lights? If, if it's traveling from millions of miles away, like from another, like maybe solar system, from the galaxy, whatever it is, and they traveled here, why would they have light? And why would they even like see light? You know, maybe they could see other band. And this is like the lights you see on a UFO was white lights. It's like, why would they see the same? Why would they see the same colored lights as we do? That's the thing. It's like, it doesn't make any sense. So, you know, so that's another thing about UFOs is that why they're flying around and you feel like, well, that's kind of like the, the, the technology now on the planet is that we're flying around or we're making spaceships that fly. But if they're so advanced, why couldn't they just kind of like, you know, just appear somewhere and like, just like appear instead of like having to fly down? Why would they actually get into a spaceship and fly down? And though those ships are mad small, like those lights in the sky, they can't be big. And I mean, like, it's a small spaceship, you know, like it's not even, and, and, and it, floats it's like why would they even need to float like i'm thinking like it's just the technology is just too similar to what we understand it's too similar to what we use we use headlights so we assume there's headlights on a ufo <laughs> you know but we don't we're not assuming that like maybe they know other ways to you know other radar besides light besides visible headlights on their on their ufo why would they have headlights on their UFO? But okay. 
So, and then why would they need to travel in a UFO and fly from where they are, they are to here? Why couldn't they just appear? Like, why couldn't they just like open a door, walk through, and then open another door and walk through, and the second door is like here, and they get to wherever they're going by walking through these little doors or something. It sounds like the next level, like something that might be invented in the next, I don't know, 100 years, 1,000 years, whatever it is, um, where you're just kind of like walking through like a wormhole or something where you like open a portal, walk in, and then when you walk out the other side, you're like somewhere else. And it sounds like, you know, that would be more like the, the technology they have for getting around than freaking spaceships because spaceships assume that like you're going to get in it, fly to wherever you're going and then get off of it. And even if they're still using spaceships, you know, why would they be small? Why would there be three of them in a row and always in the same formation with their lights on? And another thing is like, why would, for one thing is like, why would they, why would they even like, if they were, if we saw them, like, why would they, if they didn't want to be seen, then we wouldn't be seeing them because they would be like cloaked. They would be like invisible or something. They'd walk around. Like they'd even like walk around, but they'd be maybe like, they walk around with some technology that we, we just couldn't see that they were there. And we probably couldn't touch them. We couldn't feel them. You know, we couldn't do anything with it because, you know, they're just like cloaked. They're just like, they have this like button they turn on and you can't hear them. You can't see them. They could see each other and stuff and they could see us, but we can't see them and stuff like that. Like, it's just like, I was just thinking that like UFO technology is just so it doesn't sound like advanced, advanced enough technology. Like, you know, before I don't, and, and well, we'll see because like, maybe like if there's UFOs with people having cameras on their phones all over the place, may, you know, if they really are there, we're going to like be able to see them in the next few years or maybe the next 10 years or whatever it is. Cause everyone's got a phone with a camera on it. And before people were like, look, we, I saw a UFO. I know what I saw. <laughs> it was in the middle of nowhere and I didn't have a camera, right? But it was there and it landed in front of, and people swear that they saw UFOs and, you know, and, and now that people, everyone has a camera, you know, like every, anyone could snap a photograph. And I'm seeing like, I'm seeing those, like I saw this picture of like, I don't have the screen share, but I, I saw this picture of like three dots in the sky and three dots in the sky and like they were all lights and they just kind of like zipped around turned on turned off zipped around a little bit more um so that's what people were saying before that they saw these lights in the sky they didn't know what it was but they didn't have cameras and now someone actually took a photograph of that or took a video of it and it was the same thing people were saying they saw but didn't have a camera or a video camera to, to, to tape it with, but they said they saw this years and years and years ago. Um, and they were saying, yeah, they saw this and people saw this and stuff like that. So, you know, now that people have cameras and stuff like that, we'll see more like pictures of stuff that people are saying are UFOs, but it just doesn't make sense that they're still flying, like flying, like if they're like, if they're like technologically advanced enough to go from maybe like one galaxy to another or another part of our galaxy to us, if they're that technologically advanced, wouldn't they go beyond flying already? Like flying is really low tech. We can fly and we can't even fly too far. Like we can fly a little bit, you know, and, uh, you know, and already they're trying to say, oh, if you go through a wormhole, you get to wherever you're going right away. Like, You'll, you'll just like, you know, go into something and then pop out of it and whatever. So, you know, like, why would they still be flying? You know, flying is like current, current, you know, that that's what we have. We're able to fly, but we're not able to go anywhere far. So we, you know, it's like, wouldn't the aliens already be at the next level where they don't have to fly? They can just get to where they're going, like with a thing in their pocket or maybe like, you know, like their version of a, of an Apple phone or something like that, where they just press a button and they just get to wherever they're going. 
you know, without, without having to uh, get into a UFO. You know, it's just, it's just too, too weird. Um, and what's also weird is that, like, why would they really not want to be, like, detected? Like, that's, that's, like, the weirdest thing. Why would they not want to be detected? Why are they so, like, secretive? You know, why, why is it, like, you know, if we, because the way I see it, like, if we go, if we fly up somewhere, say we take a spaceship, we're technologically advanced enough, to get into a ship and then go and we're like think and we detected this planet where we think there's life and we're like we're gonna go i mean we sent like a robot there and then they saw like something that could be life and we think there's life so we we go into a spaceship we get on and we go there and there's life and they're like civilized and they have civilizations and they have science and they have and they're like flying around and they have cars and whatever that you know and we go there you know and we have the technology to not be seen, why would we not want to be seen? Like, why wouldn't we want to contact them? It's, it's just so weird uh, that, that's, that that's the thing. And then there's also like, they're saying that they've been like coming down to earth th since old times and like even the Egyptians or whatever and gave us technology. Um, it's interesting that, they, that they're saying that because of like, you know, like it's uh, ancient aliens and stuff like that, where they're saying um, uh, that there's like, that they come down to the planet and they give us technology and stuff like that. But, um, but the thing is, it's like, you know, the Egyptians really didn't have technology. They just had, you know, they, they, yeah, they built big pyramids, but they did it by like putting rocks together. And I mean, it's not really something that, I mean, if they, if the, if the aliens gave the Egyptians technology, they would go from like stone age where they're making little metal tools and stuff all the way up to, you know, they'd give them like some hella technology. They would be like all of a sudden flying around in, in cars and, and little spaceships and stuff like that. They'd give them way more technology than just like teach them how to build a big rock from little rocks. You know, that like they just like a pyramid. It's just a bunch of rocks. I mean, it's not that technologically amazing. You know, and, and and the technology that we have now was, you know, we developed like basically like in the past couple of hundred years by Edison, Thomas Edison, they made the light bulb. And Thomas Edison was not like visited by aliens to make a light bulb because if that would have happened, they, he would have just built a light bulb. It, it took him like 10 years or more than that. It took him years of, of, of trying and failing at, 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 at light bulbs to actually get one that worked. And he did, made the record player and it took him like 10 years of like trying and trying record players and then don't work and then scrapping it and trying again and stuff. So it just took him too long to develop all of the stuff that he was developing. Um, and, you know, if he was just like also like invent, you know, kind of like contacted by aliens and the aliens are like, well, if you build it this way, it'll work as a light bulb, you know? So, um, also like, I mean, if aliens, you know, taught us technology, like who taught them technology, like where at, at, at some, at some point you just, it just, it, it's not like somebody had to think of something on their own, <laughs> you know, someone had to come up with this on their own. So that's the thing. Um, you know, are they among us? Well, look, if they're, if they're, if they don't want to be seen, they're not going to be seen. Like we can just like, I don't know, I mean, we can take photographs and stuff like that, but you know, they're just not going to want to be seen. But you know, if they don't want to be seen, why do they have their, their, their headlights on in the sky, in the middle of like places where people can take their picture, right? And they don't even need headlights on their UFOs. Cause why would a UFO need headlights? You know, it's like, the only reason to put uh, headlights on a UFO is for the is for the UFO to be seen. So what's up with that? Like, you know, so that means that they do want to be seen. And then it's like they want to be seen, but then they change their mind and fly away. <laughs> you know, so it, it's kind of a weird mixed bag with this alien thing. Like there is like, yes, there is like a lot of like material where is this a good argument for it where they're saying, some of our technology might have been from somewhere else and whatever. 
And there's also a good argument against it saying, well, you know, we, don't, we actually don't really see them. And if they wanted to come down, why wouldn't they just come down and talk to us and stuff like that? So, it's, you know, so that's the thing about aliens. I don't know for how long we're going to be like thinking about aliens or talking about aliens until we actually see aliens, which we haven't yet. And that's the thing with aliens. So if you like this alien talk, uh, <laughs> um, so just uh, hit hit the subscribe the, the subscribe and the and the like button please and uh, like my channel and watch my videos and let me know in the comments what you think because that's like just a topic that I kind of brought up so let me know what you think about aliens and whatever and what you think about all this stuff and I will see you guys in another video and have a terrific terrific day terrific.